okay uh, hello hello guys uh, welcome back to our youtube channel uh, gift varsity tv this is your host gift for zekana uh, thank you so much if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching if you are new to our channel don't waste time click that notification bell subscribe to our channel so that next time when i upload you will be notified if you also want to order this match uh, ib29 uh, you can visit our website ibetunana.com so that you can see which one would you like to purchase today i have a, a guest uh, with me uh, hello hi uh, what's your name Hatonong. Hatonong. Uh, what are you studying i'm a second year computer science student second year computer science student hey yeah ne? Uh, how, how is it what is dealing yeah. it's dealing it's giving me my mother's showing me flames but yeah so far we're managing we're doing good okay. we're progressing well and adjusting well so so where are you from originally um i'm from rustenburg in the northwest province um, particularly from a township called kabani kabani your high school name hf Klo high school right so which subject did you do in high school um, so in high school, I did physical science, maths, accounting, geography, life science, and then English, Sotswane, and LO. So now you were like, okay, uh, okay, wh what was the purpose of you choosing that channel, uh, that uh, subject, uh, if I may say? Uh. The thing is, from coming from grade eight and nine, I was particularly good in my math and my natural sciences so it was a natural option for me to go choose um the physics and math stream and then accounting was just an extra subject so so when did you start now to think that okay i i prefer doing uh, computer science computer science was a last minute decision to be honest with you um so my options were medicine and astrophysics and computer science which i got uh, into all those programs but then i decided that the other ones weren't for me upon doing research um and coming across the optionality and versatility then the skill set that computer science offers uh over other degrees i decided to choose computer science and also money wise oh, money cool. wise <laughs> money wise guys if you want money do computer science ne? okay i'm kidding guys but you must make sure that you qualify for the program don't just uh, uh, pursue money and stuff ne? okay Mara, eh. but okay, it's a good decision you make ne? you don't regret no i don't but the only time i regret that is when my programs aren't running <laughs> all right so uh you applied for for computer science in your grade 12. The, um yes i applied okay. for which other institution did you apply to I applied to the university of cape town and the university of pretoria only only that is only those institutions yeah i knew i was gonna get in all of them so <laughs> that's yeah. why i applied there hey. yeah the, the confidence no. you knew that i one of the institutions i'll be there yeah yeah i knew that you knew that so uh all of them accepted you right yes they did okay so you chose vets yes why um because it's closer to home as compared to cape town and then my parents didn't want me to go to Cape Town, so then I came to it. <laughs> but also because of the structure of the computer science program, and I read somewhere an article that there was about a couple of billions, like four millions, invested into the computer science program in the robotics lab. So I saw that um, they had quite upgraded the program compared to all the other universities, and I liked the way that it was structured. Then I chose computer science. Uh, computer science and fits. Okay. So now you, you got accepted at VETS, you're excited, right? I know VETS, they say it accepts you early in the morning, so you got that SMS. Yeah, immediately when I woke up, it was like around past six. Then that's when the messages started coming in of me being admitted into the program. So how, how, how did you feel now? I was excited. I knew that I was going to pass, but finally seeing it happen, finally seeing... um. Or, well not all of them but part of a portion of my dreams come true it was a moment that is unforgettable and i'll remember it for the rest of my life oh. uh, that's great that's great indeed uh money you were so excited she was so excited that oh finally i, I made it to computer science at adverse university now things changed ne? 
<laughs> the same. Like high school, you learn very early on that university is not high school. You have to adjust. Um, some of the things that you did in high school, like it, in high school, it was a matter of getting a distinction. You already knew that you were going to pass, but it was a matter of just um, getting a distinction, getting a 90, getting a 100, getting an 80. But yeah, sometimes how we fight for those 50%. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. So what's the difference between you in high school and you in university now? What uh, yeah, the challenges you faced now uh, as a university student now? Now you are in university and there are some challenges that you faced. What are those challenges? Um, so in high school, I could just go into a test or an exam having not studied and I was guaranteed an A. And so I thought that same mentality and approach would work at VETS, which it didn't. <laughs> I learned the lesson very early on. I think in my first assessment, I got a nine or something. Like from getting eight, uh, seven distinctions from a nine out of... You, you had seven distinctions. I did. From, to like a nine and something that I thought I was good at. And then that was a wake up call that I needed to start working harder, keep up to date with all my work practice my tutorial questions, pass papers, engage with the course, the lecturers and my classmates and not work alone. Because yeah, what I did in high school didn't really work so in university. You, you got a nine eh? and you went to your metric certificate and you see, man, I got seven distinctions. Maybe you were like, no, what's, what's happening now to your brain? Eh? Maybe you had some questions, but, hey, what's happening? Okay. Now, uh, oh, you said that for you to, to be able now to to not get that nine again you made sure that you you study hard you do your tutorial questions and stuff so which module uh, in computer science uh, affected you most because i know some other students they did some programming in high school you know they were familiar to programming so what challenges now which module uh, did, did you give you give you some challenge um the programming modules because i didn't do it in high school um in first year those were analysis of algorithms and uh, data structures and then in my early second year it was mobile computing but yeah i didn't manage to pass them and i got really great marks on them so yeah, yeah. challenge one overcome yeah ne. all right so which subject do you do in computer science uh, in first year so in first year you have your calculus one your algebra one um your computational and applied mathematics right and then you also have your computer science modules which are analysis of algorithms um discrete computational structures uh, basic computational organization and data structures yeah and then one elective you can choose either from another faculty or from your own faculty so in my first year i chose physics and then it dealt with me and then i dropped it for information systems you can also choose biology introductory biology or psychology yeah all right all right even chemistry yeah, yeah. I saw someone also choose chemistry, but now those things are not related. Chemistry and computers, I'm not sure. But yeah. somehow they are, okay. like at higher levels of right. in research, yeah. All right. You said you got seven distinctions in high school. I'm very, very... A high school learner is watching us now in different parts of South Africa. They want to study computer science. They want to get these seven distinctions. How did you manage to get these seven distinctions in high school? Um, in high school, the trick is um, knowing your past papers, practicing past papers. You'll never go wrong in high school with that. You'll definitely never go wrong. Um, practice a couple of past papers. Um, form study groups and don't study at the study group. Study and then at the study groups, you guys tackle questions that are quite difficult together. Um, work with people. Don't work alone. If you can, that's fine. But I found that uh, most of the people that we studied together with, we were the ones who got actually distinctions in math and science. And then the others that we didn't study with didn't get them. So, yeah, work with people, um, do your past papers, uh, watch YouTube videos. Uh, there are a lot of material on YouTube from high school level to varsity level. Um, do that and put the time in. Just put the time in and then it will all work out in the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it will all work out in the end. Group work makes the dream work. So, okay, uh, now uh, they will want to study computer science. They see that you love computer science and you're also passionate about it. What are the requirements of studying computer science at first? So the minimum requirements for me, last time I checked was 
an APS of 42 or above and a minimum of 70% in math. Yeah, those are the requirements. And I think they are relatively the same at UP and then at UCT, I'm not quite sure. It's like a 60% last time I checked, but it might have been increased. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, uh, you are responsible for checking which uh, the requirements of, of the program. But also, you must also consider that uh, meeting the requirements of the program does not guarantee you an admission to the program. You see, you must do your best where you can be even sure, like, hey, Guti, I know, Guti, one of these institutions, I, I, I will be there. You know, uh, what being a student taught you now, being a student, being independent at university, what has taught you? Um, what has being a student taught me? Um, that basically the, the lesson that I learned was that um, my future is in my hands. So in university, there's no one that's going to follow you around, um, study, wash the dishes, go to class, um, spend your money like this. Like Those are all decisions that you have to make on your own. So you have to learn how to be independent, be good at decision making. Just knowing that whatever decision you take, if you choose to watch a movie over studying, then you're going to face the consequences definitely in a test or in an exam. If you choose to eat McDonald's the whole week and not buy groceries, <laughs> the financial management thereof is that you're not going to have groceries for the rest of the month. So yeah, your future is in your hand. It, it all depends on you. No one is going to follow you around or boss you around to do this and do that. All right. That, that's, that's great. Uh, I would say, I don't know if it's great now, or but... As long as you are coping and uh, that yeah, you become so independent you know nobody is watching you your parents are not here to see whatever you will be doing i know they are proud wherever you are but you must be careful and you must be accountable for any decision that you will do here at university it's not like in high school where your teacher will be like, where is my homework it's up to you whether you attend that lecture or you don't uh tato now uh if i am studying computer science what career fields would i follow what can I be? You know, you, you want money, you also be like, okay, I want money. Okay, okay, where can I work with this computer science degree if I get it? Uh, mm. Okay, so you can go into tech roles and non-tech roles. By tech roles, I mean um, after doing your honors in either computer science or big data analytics, um, you can become a software engineer, software de designer, um, a software architect, uh, a data analyst, a business analyst, uh, um, a data scientist and data engineer I see um, in the data engineering and data science space right now it's really booming that's where the job opportunities are that's where I'm hoping to go and that's where the money is and in non-tech roles you can look into things like management consulting right and you can become a statistician if you feel like tech is not really for you remember we have uh, a, a very strong foundation in mathematics and applied mathematics so some of those skills we can apply to other careers outside of uh, tech roles right your traditional tech roles but there are a lot more um careers than what i have mentioned so do take a look at that on google on your course outlines they do mention them i can't even remember the first part what i know is that there are a lot of opportunities if you are doing this degree employment is also guaranteed it's very much important that you also do a research with a certain course that you are intending to enroll to so that you know what to expect and you, you, you know uh, what are your goals. Any last word for a student who's doing grade 12, even those first year, because they're a second year student, it means now you passed your first year, you are in your second year. Even those who are, let's start with those who are in high school. Mm. Oh, what can I say to those in high school? Um, just study. That's the easy part. High school is the easy part. You're going to see when you get to varsity, the huge distinction between high school and varsity. Make sure you study, secure a good bursary, um, secure space. Make sure that you get in. You'll work on getting out when you get here. Uh, put a lot of work into your exams because I think they weigh um, more than your year mark. Put a lot more work into your final examinations. That will actually um, secure you the distinction that you want. And for those in first year right you said those as well uh first year in my experience first year was easy i don't know if it was because it was online or whatnot but um do your tutorials always always do don't ever make the mistakes of not doing your tutorials and do your past papers go to consultations with your lecturers 
use your tutors communicate with your tutors ask questions and yeah that's pretty much it yes uh thank you so much uh tato and uh, nong for your time let's hope guys you got some uh, crucial information here and you became motivated to come and do computer science at vets or any other institution you must also uh, apply to many institutions as well so that you increase the the chances of being accepted to the program you get it so uh thank you so much we are hosting live at vets university in johannesburg this is your host gift Pozekana, gift varsity tv all the best with your career journey will come to you when you are a data scientist to say oh yeah here is the money that i was talking about i'm kidding thank you